Well, my first tattoo is no longer on my body because I lasered it off. It was a homemade cross on my middle finger. Um, and a few of my friends got it actually. We were in high school, I was 14 years old. And then uh, I had got a couple other ones like a lightning bolt and some other random things that I got zapped off. But my first real one in a tattoo studio was uh, Animal from the Muppets. I was 18 years old. It was in Fayetteville, North Carolina, which is where my mom moved when she left uh, the Boston area. And um, he was an idol of mine. Every drummer idolizes Animal from the Muppets, so he was my first. Well, it was definitely one of my childhood hero bands, as was Aerosmith and uh, many others, Rush. But I love the logo. It kind of went with the flame concept. And, um, you know, they're pretty much one of the greatest rock bands of all time. And so it made it on the arm. Um, this one here, which actually I got um, from my drummer, Shannon Larkin, who you'll be seeing in a minute. Um, and it's uh, a symbol for less than 1%. Um, and this up here says the elite because uh, we learned after we started to get some success in the band that we're in this very elite category of bands that, you know, X amount are signed per year from a label. And if there's a thousand bands signed a year, let's say, less than 1% of those bands ever moves on to have a second record. They get dropped and less than 1% of the bands that even moves on to have a second record ever sees a gold album in their life. So we realized at one point how lucky we were to actually have a band you know, that has done as well as we have and, uh, and we're kind of this less than 1% group of people. So The furthest away I've ever gone was like Edmonton, Canada and it was a portrait of my daughter that I have on my chest when she was like seven years old that's the most important one. I know she, she's proud of it, but whenever she starts to act up, because she's, you know, 17 now, I'll literally, like, let the hair in my chest grow in, but I'll shave everything, but I'll just leave her with, like, a goatee and a Fu Manchu, and then she gets really pissed off at me. <laughs> there was a time, I, I don't regret the tattoos I have, but I regret not knowing enough about tattoos when I was getting them because especially now where the artists have grown so much and evolved and they're doing amazing work, I wish I still had some of the real estate to kind of do something that's more in line with my life now and things that meant something more to me because back then I was just trying to create the image of a rock star and I had a tattoo artist that was a friend of mine that did them for free and so I kind of just built a lot of my sleeve and things like that off of images that didn't really have a lot of sentimental meaning. But now I've kind of come full circle and they, they represent a time in my life for whatever it's worth. Like I used to date strippers back then and so they would be like, hey, if you put my name on your arm, I'll pay for some of your tattoos. I'm like, cool. And so me and my tattoo artist had this little wink and a, you know, little code that we would do. And he would be like, how about we do it in a nice light carnation pink? And she's like, oh my God, that would be beautiful. So we'd write Brandy, you know, and then the next day he's like, come on in and we'd put a skull there and a headband over Brandy's name because it was such a light color. So we had this little like thing worked out, but. So yeah, back then I was poor and I had to get other people to pay for stuff. The one on my leg was really painful. It's a portrait about this big of Pinhead from Hellraiser. Um, it's an old, old horror movie, and he was the lead character. And there's a lot of heavy blue and black in it, and it was just a very painful area, I remember. Getting a tattoo removed is fucking brutal. I could sleep through getting a tattoo most of the time, but getting it removed is nasty. Someone actually asked me, what does it feel like? Because they use laser. And I said, imagine the world's largest elastic band snapping the most sensitive part of your skin at a thousand beats a second. That's what it feels like. And when I went in to have the first time removed, the doctor was like, okay, have you ever done this yet? And I'm like, no, but you know, I talked to some girls, they did hair removal and stuff. They're like, he goes, yeah, it's a little different. So, and um, he goes, well, let me just show you what the laser feels like. And he put it on my leg, because I had this homemade one of a heart with an arrow through it. And he just, there's a pedal, he steps on, it looks like a little clear drumstick. It's like a tube and a laser shoots from it. And it just went tick, that's it. Just one little click. And I was like, I thought I was gonna pass out. I started sweating. I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna, I need to lay down. And, 
And so he actually, I, I took my shirt off my back and I twisted it and I put it in my mouth and I was biting down so hard on it that I thought my teeth were gonna crack. And you know, the nurse is rubbing my back. <laughs> it was like a whole thing. So I would say just don't get tattoos if you're gonna think about lasering them off later because it's brutal.